Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. It is April 6th, 2020. And uh, welcome to another daily devotional here on Facebook or YouTube, because we are posting these on YouTube. So wherever uh, you're tuning in and watching today, welcome. Great to have you here. Hey, if you're watching uh, and you are comfortable with this, we'd love to have you share this and help us get the word out to some more people, which is what I'm doing right now. Um, also, if you're tuning in, drop a comment below, even just leave an emoji because sometimes I don't know who all is watching and I'd love to, to be able to see who's here this morning. So it's good. Today I want to talk for a few minutes about um, seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. Um, yesterday uh, for our live stream, those of you who came in and watched, uh, thanks so much for joining us. But um, I had a rough morning yesterday. I just was really feeling fatigued with all of these changes happening and um, wasn't just wasn't feeling the whole live stream. I miss seeing you guys in person. And so it gets kind of old, honestly, uh, preaching to an empty church and, and just not having people there with us. And yesterday I was struggling uh, to see the light at the end of the tunnel. And I wanna share just for a minute a couple scriptures that I think are pertinent to this situation. Um, two different ones. And we're going to look at a couple different ones in Psalm 30, verse 5. So if you have a Bible and uh, can join us there, Psalm 30, verse 5 is where we're going to look today. And uh, we'll see what it has to say to us. I love the Psalms. Yesterday we had our uh, prayer time again for the pastors on uh, K-Check Radio in the afternoon. And I got to read from Psalm um psalms as well can't remember off the top of my head which psalm i was reading from but the thing i love about the psalms is that we really get a sense of what david was walking through and when you realize that david went through some really difficult times it can help us when we're going through difficult times so psalm 30 just want to read that uh, one verse for you for you it says for his anger lasts only a moment but his favor lasts a lifetime. Weeping may stay for the night, but rejoicing comes in the morning. You know, as we are finding ourselves again in this really uncertain time and really difficult season, there are days maybe when you're locked up with your kids <laughs> where you feel like it's really hard to see the light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, but what I want to remind you is that God sees not only the beginning, He sees the end. Unfortunately, we only see the here and now. We only see what's happening day by day as we watch the news. And that can be tricky. That can be tough. But when we remember that God knows the end, that God sees the end, then we can have confidence that there is light at the end of the tunnel. We can have confidence that even though this day may difficult be difficult, there are better days ahead. So I wanna encourage you this morning to, to remember that this season that we're in really is temporary. Weeping may endure for the night, but joy comes in the morning. Thank you so much for tuning in to these uh, quick devotion, daily devotionals. Uh, if you like this video, please share it with someone, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.